I'm trying to do another video, and this one is uh, it's unique. I, I don't think I've ever heard anything like this before, but let me go ahead and continue on this. This is about a patient. I, you know, I do the rounds, and I, I see a lot of different patients, and one woman that's been here for some period of time, they're still trying to figure out what's going on with her. They, they don't know physically why she's having certain symptoms, but they're still trying to figure it out. And sometimes things like that happen. You know, with with medicine today, you think you can find the answer. Sometimes they can't. It takes time to kind of do all this testing and everything else. But she, when, when I walked in, this woman was, she's she's up there. She's, I think she's 80, 87, 80, or 88 years old. And her two daughters are present. And they're just sitting right there. And so we started talking. And, I, you know, she was kind of feeling very depressed. But she was telling me this story. And I was trying to, you know, like I had done this before. You know, try to comfort the patients. Try to, you know, try to get them through what they're going through. And you know, they, they, they have they have moments when they're feeling really down. But she was telling me this story about her husband. Now these two had met, and, and they were married for 64 years. And how they met is actually she's from Germany. She's German, and and she met her husband who happened to be a GI during World War II, and they were married for 64 years. And at the time when she met him, uh, she was a waitress, and that's how it all, all it, you know, it was, and that's all it came about. She was, and the other thing that's interesting, she was, uh, at the time she met her husband-to-be, um, she was about 20 years old, and they had, a, they had a relationship. They met, and they started having, he would come visit her when he was, you know, when he was, he, he was able to come in to see her uh, when he was on leave, and, uh, but her father, knew that there was something going on and she and she had mentioned she wanted to get married to him and he said no wait till until you're 21 years old then you can get married to this guy so she had to wait almost a year to get married to this guy and 64 years they've been together and she was telling me a lot of things about him show me a picture nice looking guy and and uh, but the two daughters the only thing i have to tell you about the two daughters were present and the, the, the mother, I had told him about the story, but here's the rest of the story. And the two daughters are verifying what goes on here. And the husband, who has already passed away, comes visit her in the hospital, in her room, in a chair. And he's sitting down in the spiritual form. He's sitting down talking to her and kind of noted, and she's, you know, she's kind of unloading, talking about the things that she's feeling or whatever. And he's telling her it's not her time. It's just not her time, and she's got she's got more to go yet. She's not done yet, but he's reassuring her, you know. And we talked about this before in other videos that sometimes you know family members come back. They 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 they. they and what's amazing, they're visiting, and here's the other, and here's the kicker, guys. You have to understand the two daughters also saw this, only one time, from what I understand, only one time. They saw they they saw this kind of spiritual form. They saw her interacting. Uh, at the time they were there visiting. And, and they couldn't quite tell, but they knew something was there in the chair, and she's, she's having an exchange back and forth. And what he's doing, basically, he's comforting her. He knows, you know, her time's coming. She's 88 years old. And uh, they have a just, you know, from what I understand, the way she was describing her, just a, just a love that just, just, you know, love has no bounds. You know, we talk about friends having no bounds. Love has no bounds. Literally, it has no bounds. And and he comes back to visit her in the hospital while she's in here. He's, you know, he just comes back, and she can feel his presence. She can see him, literally can see him, and she describes him as a good-looking guy. He's, you know, he's he's not the old man that he was when he passed away. He was, you know, he's at a young age, and um, just an incredible story. But the two the two sisters, I mean the two the two daughters, uh, who are really nice people, uh, were, were very, they saw this interchange. They saw this interchange between her and her and the spiritual you know, husband, and they they couldn't see it as I said before. They couldn't see it real clearly, but they they knew something. But they they saw the interaction, and this is a story I have to tell you. It's it's not um, I'm not hearing it this way, everybody. I have not heard this kind of. Uh, you know, usually it's only the one person sees it, but to see, you know, a family member, two other family members, actually kind of see it and participate in a little bit, but it was just really an unusual story. You know, I, I, I just thought it was, what really got to me, to be honest with you, it was their love. 
whereas there are there are there are relationship to each other even and I said love has no bounds it continues and you know they were very very close and and they went through a lot just you know during the war everybody so there were a lot of things going on he was on leave and she didn't know he was coming back you know sometimes he would leave and there was a lot of stuff going on in there but they they you know the war ended and, and they continued their relationship they had, they had I think they had three kids two daughters which were present and another daughter Anyway, I thought it was a very interesting story, everybody, and I wanted to kind of relate to you, but as I said before, it's a love story of 64 years. And he's visiting her in this hospital. He's visiting her, sitting in the chair, talking to her. Anyway, it's it's uh, just a unique story, everybody. And um, it's good to hear these kind of things, you know. It's really nice to hear people and that they, they have this wonderful relationship. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off as I always do. I hope your day is going well, and I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching this video. Until the next video, thanks again for your time. Appreciate it.